chronic pain, the inner demon, back with another one. Now folks, as we all saw Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, as has been in the news for a lot of things lately, his ex-bodyguard Gene Deal has been, you know, outspoken about how Puffy treat Cassie and others, Kim Porter, and also other male um, people around him. But one thing I didn't know, <laughs> what the fuck is a Turkish bath? I didn't even know they have these shits, yo. Gene Dill said this is one of Puffy's fetish. He liked to go to the Turkish bath. And I'll let Gene Dill tell what they do in these Turkish baths. Salute to the author Dialogue who brought us this content. Check out the author Dialogue for further content on this subject. Check this out. We went outside a Turkish baths for him. You know what they do in the Turkish baths? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? Okay. That's where a lot of gay men meet. And they all take hot baths together. <laughs> you hear that, folks? On a Turkish bath, according to Gene Deal, that's where a lot of gay men meet. Taking bath together. Now these are also things that Puffy was involving, indulging. And my thing is, man, you know, um, it is what it is. If you are a homo, just be a homo. But tell the world or tell it, you know, tell your truth who you are. Don't mislead people. Don't abuse people's kids. Don't abuse people. Just be true to yourself, Puffy. Be true to the game. People will respect you more when you are true to yourself and true to the game. But all these alleged spiking drinks, assaults, the R word, all these things, man, that's coming out right now, Puffy. Man, the only person escaped your brutality, it seems, was J-Lo. It seems was J-Lo. I guess she was lucky. So let's get back to Gene Deal speaking on the art of dialogue and how Puffy. <laughs> hey, I didn't even know. Turkish bath. What the fuck? Just take a listen. <laughs> to each his own, though, bro. But that's a lot of sh that these guys get into when they start having certain meetings with certain people and they meet them at the Turkish bath and they do their meetings and they meet their people in those type of situations where they're comfortable with. So they don't have to worry about um, their indiscretions coming out. You mean? You understand? Damn. Now this is something that's new. New on the block. Puffy, we heard about you on the butt plugs on Ja Rule. All those stories about you alleged beating women. The alleged death of Kim Porter. All these things. I used to follow Puffy in the 90s, man. With Biggie Smalls and all those guys. 112. But after all these rumors start coming out, I start looking at Puffy in a different light, different view, with all these abuse and everything. And, you know, man, listen, you're not just a freak of the week, man. Right now, you're the freak of 2023. And that's bringing it down because that's caution you in the pockets, Puffy, where it hits and it hurts. Even though you're a billion dollar man, it's hard to pick up a hundred million dollars and give it to someone.
Because even though you're a billion dollar man, you have to understand a lot of your stuff are liquidated in assets, not real money. So now you saw where you lost Macy's as an ad, you might lose Ciroc, and all these other ads that you have, you know, out there, Puffy. You might just lose all your endorsements because of your selfishness, your way of living, and your also your way of treating people, human beings to be exact. Biggie Small's mother, she's still there and she's watching. <laughs> Maybe to her this is common. You know, who knows? But Puffy, man, damn. Turkish bath. Two, three times a week. You're into these places. And you have a woman at home. They supposed to be pleasing. That can't be not much fucking in the world, man. God damn, you all of people are weird. Really fucking weird. No wonder they call it fucking Holly Weird. Chronic pain out. Peace.